हेलो बच्चों वेलकम टू एस पी एस वर्सिटी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्लांट किंगडम से प्लांट किंगडम इज गिवन ए सेपरेट स्टेटस इन फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन इसका फंडामेंटल फीचर्स के बारे में आए तो so this plant kingdom the cells are eukaryotic and have chlorophyll eukaryotic chlorophyll and the cell wall is made up of cellulose and these plant shows continuous growth indeterminate so they show growth life long not like animals so it is called indeterminate growth so plants are eukaryotic autotrophic multicellular photosynthetic and they are also producers they play an important role in the food chain why because they are the main food producers in the food chain and when you come to the plant body in primitive plants the plant body is thylaoid thylaoid means undifferentiated so the plant body is undifferentiated so undifferentiated means it is not differentiated into two stem and leaf it is found in primitive plants like algae and few bryophytes whereas in most of the plants it is differentiated into root stem and leaf so it shows a differentiated body and the plant body will have xylem and phloem they are called vascular tissues so in primitive plants like algae and bryophytes there is no xylem and phloem so they are called non vascular plants so vascular plants means they are these are the organism plants with xylem and phloem सो so, कुछ प्लांट्स में जैलम फ्लोएम नहीं रहता उसको क्या बोलता है कि नॉन वेस्कुलर प्लांट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लांट्स दे हैव जैलम एंड फ्लोएम दे आर कॉल्ड वेस्कुलर प्लांट्स एंड इन प्लांट्स लाइफ साइकिल देर आर टू स्टेजेस वन इज गैमेटोफाइटिक स्टेज एंड स्पोरोफाइटिक स्टेज gametophyte is haploid which reproduces sexually sporophyte is diploid which reproduces asexually and they come alternately so it is called alternation of generation so alternation of generation means the gametophyte and sporophyte will come alternately so when you take these plants so if you take this plants if you take the history of the plant kingdom where in plants the algae and fungi were included in plants in the previous classifications like carolinus linnaeus who has proposed plantae and animalia so where he has introduced he has kept algae and fungi in plant kingdom and according to vitaker the five kingdom classification there are five kingdoms protista monera fungi plantae animalia so here in this if you see this in plant kingdom we can see this microscopic plants like algae as well as we can see tallest trees they are sequoia which belongs to gymnosperms 
and in most of the plants we can see flowers which are attractive flowers while some plants doesn't have and in most of the plants it is differentiated the plant body is differentiated differentiated means it has that is root stem and leaf very few forms are undifferentiated which is called thalloid like thalloid means you can take the best example like algae and primitive bryophytes so which doesn't show the differentiation of plant body into the root stem and leaf okay so who discovered plant kingdom actually if we take vitaker he is the person who wanted to include all producers in the plant kingdom later on the unicellular organ and cyanobacteria are separated like if you take cyanobacteria they are included under the what we call the monera and few algae the unicellular organ are kept under protest okay so vitaker has made a lot of contribution to plant kingdom and if you look into plant kingdom they are eukaryotic multicellular cell wall is present which is made up of cellulose their phototrophic which will form photosynthesis and mode of nutrition is autotrophic which they perform the autotrophic mode of nutrition okay. if we take into the history of this classification that is the who is called the father of taxonomy this is carolinus linnaeus he has proposed two kingdom classification only two kingdoms are present that is plantae and animalia later on it has come to three kingdom four kingdom five kingdom at present which we are following it is a five kingdom so in this what is the need for classification so that is based on natural relationships among organisms they are classified into different categories so we cannot study all the organisms in the same group which have similarities and dissimilarities so you should study under different categories so this science of biological classification it is called taxonomy so it is called taxonomy in taxonomy basically we will study the identification nomenclature and classification of organisms here if you look into this classification there are various criteria of classification that is artificial system of classification natural system of classification phylogenetic system of classification numerical taxonomy taxonomy cytotaxonomy chemotaxonomy based on different criteria if you look at artificial classification it is it is not based on it is non evolutionary features it is based on only a few characteristics for example it is based on the characteristics that is stamen style stigma so they are given importance here beyond other than evolutionary relationships if you take a natural system of classification classification which gives importance to natural evolutionary relationship the bentham and hooker is one of the best system of natural classification where he has mentioned in his book that is genera plantarum okay so this natural system of classification which will take relationship based on common ancestor so in this classification the organism is classified on the basis of their vegetative characters which are permanent and do not change with the environment so here you can look into this so here slide map dekh sakte artificial classification system and natural system classification system ka difference is kya hai in artificial they are non evolutionary features in natural evolutionary features 
artificial no phylogeny not related it is related to phylogeny hereditary not similar the hereditary is similar in artificial only few characters are taken into consideration here almost all characters are taken into consideration okay. here the stable but not stable may change here the information is limited here it is plenty of information difficulty to identify and easy to identify The best example for artificial classification system is Carolus Linnaeus, who has proposed 24 classes of plant kingdom based on the stamen number, size, length, and union. Only based on stamens, Carolus Linnaeus has proposed 24 classes of plant kingdom. And when you come to phylogenetic classification system, which is based on evolutionary ancestry so in this evolutionary ancestry we will come across phylogenetic trees they are called cladograms where organisms are kept under different categories by its descendants okay so in phylogenetic system of classification it is done based on phylogenetic system of classification is done based on common ancestor okay so here if you take that linear classification it is based on physical traits only that is mostly like stamen size number like this. after darwin proposal of theory of evolution scientist has started classifying organisms based on phylogeny okay so here if you look into a cladogram this is there are three species one two three which has common ancestors okay and species one and two is having a common ancestor so this is called a cladogram okay each branch is called a clade so clade is a group of organisms that includes an ancestor of its descendants. Okay. So it is based on ancestor descendant relationships and these are called cladograms. So here you can look into a cladogram where they can see where mammals, turtles, lizards, snakes, crocodiles, birds are classified based on evolutionary relationship. So in this, there you can see mammal has one clade and reptile has a one clade. In reptile included birds. Why? Because birds has evolved from reptiles. So there is a relationship between birds and reptiles that is according to evolutionary phylogeny birds has evolved from reptiles. When you look at the advantages of phylogenetic system of classification there are basically two advantages. One is we can find it out evolutionary history. Another one in phylogenetic system of classification doesn't give any rank to organisms so it is very easy to identify the evolutionary history and it doesn't give any rank so that's the advantage of phylogenetic system of classification and when you come to numerical taxonomy it is based on criteria that is numerical methods like Michael at and son has given numerical values to that is similarities between organisms and proposed started classifying plants and numerical taxonomy is based on their character states it was first initiated by Peter Sneath H. A. Sneath who has done the classification based on numerical values that is Peter H. A. Sneath Cytotaxonomy is a biology dealing with the classification of organisms based on chromosomes. So every organism has chromosomes. 
and the chromosome number will be differing from species to species depending upon the species the chromosome number will be different so this is a chromosome structure where the number of chromosomes will not be same in all organisms it will be differing from one organism to other organisms as these chromosomes are differing based on this we have this cytotaxon okay. so here chromosome number that is if we take chromosome number specifically it is different from one species to other species the chromosome number is different from one species to other species like humans has 46 chromosomes okay like each and every species has different set of chromosomes okay and when it comes to another type of taxonomy that is chemo taxonomy it is classification based on chemicals of the body okay that is every organism in the cell there are a lot of chemicals are made up of so the chemo taxonomy of cyanobacteria was initiated by Kenyon was initiated by Kenyon. Okay. So till now we have studied about artificial system of classification, natural system, phylogenetic, numerical taxonomy, cytotaxonomy and chemotaxonomy. Now we have to the plant kingdom classification. What classification is there? What is the kingdom? What is the division? divisions kya hai? Basically, the plant kingdom is divided into two sub-kingdoms. So, one is non-flowering plants, that is cryptogamy. Non-seeded, non-flowering plants. And another kingdom is phenerogamy, which is flowering and seed-bearing. Or a cryptogamy may three divisions. Thalophyta. Bryophyta, Pteridophyta. In Phenerogamy, there are two divisions. Gymnosperm, Angiosperm. Gymnosperm is only seeds, not fruits. Angiosperm is fruits or fruits are only seeds. In okay. Angiosperm, there are dicot and monocot. In Thalophyta, Algae rehta. Fungi was given separate kingdom category. It doesn't come under Thalophyta. It is given a separate kingdom status. So like this, this is the entire division of plant kingdom. It is basically divided into two sub-kingdoms, Cryptogamy, Phenerogamy. Again in Cryptogamy, there are three divisions, Thalophyta, Bryophyta, Pteridophyta. In phenerogamy, there are two divisions, gymnospermy and geospermy. So here you can see five divisions. That is, thalophyta, bryophyta, pteridophyta, they belong to non-flowering plants. It is cryptogamy. Okay. They come under non-flowering, non seeded plants. Gymnosperms or angiospermy they come under phenerogamy. Phenerogamy is my flowering or seeds. Bireta dono mreta. Isko kya bolte ki phenerogams. So, pehle me discuss karenge thalophyta ke baare me. Thalophyta me basically there are all gay. The term algae was coined by Linnaeus in 1753. What are the characters of algae? Algae are autotrophic, they bear chlorophyll. They are autotrophic and they show thalloid plant body. Thalloid means the plant body is undifferentiated. So undifferentiated means it is not showing any root, stem, leaf-like structure. And most of the algae live in water, they are aquatic. 
so the plant body may be unicellular to multicellular or a algae may vascular tissues nireta no vascular tissues they lack vascular tissues that means it may xylem phloem nireta no xylem and phloem it may xylem phloem nireta okay so isko kya bolte ki non vascular plants ya algae non vascular plants mein aata and half of the carbon fixation that is carbon dioxide fixation is done by photosynthesis by algae and they can increase oxygen levels in the environment or algae food be used they can be used as a food like laminaria which is used as a food laminaria sargassum which are used as a food okay. even there are many commercial products which come from algae like agar which is extracted from gelidium and glass layer which is to make creams and jellies algin which is obtained from brown algae that is keratin which is extracted from red algae and there are some algae which are used as food by space travelers that is chlorella and spirulina okay. which are rich in protein and they are used as a food by space travelers ये ऑलगे किधर रहता ये ऑलगे दे आर प्रेजेंट एवरीवेयर हर जगह में रहता यूबिक्यूटस दे आर फाउंड इन फ्रेश वाटर सराइन वाटर्स मैराइन वाटर सोइल रॉक हर जगह में रहता दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड यूबिक्यूटस इवन फ्यू ऑलगे इज ग्रो एज इफ यू फाइंड्स एन अदर प्लांट्स पैरासाइट्स ऑन प्लांट ऑन सम प्लांट्स even they can be seen in hot springs deserts snow fields and mostly they are found in aquatic environment a algae me teen types of reproduction rehta oh vegetative reproduction asexual reproduction or sexual reproduction vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation basically by a process called fragmentation fragmentation means the algae will break accidentally due to this fragments are formed and each fragment will develop into new individual it is called fragmentation isko kya bolte hai ki fragmentation ab dekh kare slide me a spirogyra filament a spirogyra is a green algae which shows unbranched filamentous structure so spirogyra shows unbranched filamentous structure so this unbranched filamentous algae of spirogyra due to breakage of accidentally it is made into fragments and each fragment will grow into a new individual so next type hai ki asexual reproduction isme majorly rehta juice spores asexual reproduction juice spores ke dwara hota hai a juice spores either naked or newly born अब पिक्चर में देख रहे जो स्पोर ऑफ क्लाइमोनोसिस में दो फ्लैजले रहता हूं एक न्यूक्लियस और पायरिन सो क्लाइमोनोस इज एनिसलर ग्रीन ऑल गिव व्हिच विल रिप्रोड्यूस बाय जो स्पोर्स सो ये स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच विल प्रोड्यूस जो स्पोर्स इसको क्या बोलते हैं कि जो स्पोरेंजियम जो स्पोरेंजियम के अंदर बहुत सारे जो स्पोर्स विद टू फ्लैजले टू फ्लैजिंग और जूस स्पोर्स में दो टाइप्स रहता है मोटाइल जूस स्पोर्स और नॉन मोटाइल जूस स्पोर्स मोटाइल बोले तो विच कैन मूव नॉन मोटाइल विच कैन नॉट मूव 
सो इसको क्या बोलते हैं कि नॉन मोटाइल स्पोर्ट्स विदाउट फ्लैजिल्लम मोटाइल स्पोर्ट्स विथ फ्लैजिल्लम विथ फ्लैजिल्लम मीन्स दे कैन मूव नॉन मोटाइल मीन्स विदाउट फ्लैजिल्लम दे कैन नॉट सो ईच एंड एवरी स्पोर विथ जर्मिनेट एंड फॉर्म इन टी न्यू प्लांट सो ये सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में ऑल्टरनेशन ऑफ जनरेशन नहीं रहता so this is a biflagellate juice spore it this is a motile juice spore where so motile means where it can move with two flagellate they have two flagellate with the help of this two flagellate they will move it is a motile juice spore non motile mean flagellate nahi सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन के बारे में आए तो सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में इफ मेल फीमेल गैमेट प्रोड्यूस होता है और इफ गैमेट्स में सिर्फ हैप्लॉयड देर कैंसिस ऑफ ओनली वन सेट ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स और गैमेट्स में भी टाइप्स रहता है आइसो गैमेट्स हेट्रो गैमेट्स ऊ गैमेट्स आइसो मीन सेम सब पिक्चर में देख रहे मेल और फीमेल दोनों सिमिलर लग रहे There is no differentiation. We cannot distinguish which is male and female. इसको क्या बोलते हैं कि isogametes. इसके एग्जाम्पल ले सकते हैं आप स्पाइरो कैरा. And iso that means heterogametes भी बोलते हैं इसको. So and iso बोले तो there is a difference between gametes. They are not similar. Like पिक्चर में देख सकते हैं फीमेल गैमेट बड़ा है और छोटा है मेल गैमेट देर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेल एंड फीमेल गैमेट वी कैन डिफरेंशिएट वो गैमेट जिसमें और थोड़ा डिफरेंस रहता अब देख सकते हैं इधर पिक्चर में ए फीमेल गैमेट ए फीमेल गैमेट इज वेरी लॉर्ज विदाउट फ्लैजली और A male gamete, this male gamete with flagellate, which can move. So male gamete is small, which can move with two flagellate. Whereas female gamete is large, which cannot move, non-motile without flagellate. The best examples are volvox and fucus. All okay. good. So after fusion of gametes, that is, gametes are haploid. After fusion of haploid gametes, we'll get a diploid zygote. So this diploid zygote will give rise to a new individual. It gives rise to a new individual. Okay. So algae me three types of reproduction rate are vegetative, asexual, and sexual be rate. और हमें इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ऑलगे के बारे में आए तो बहुत सारे प्रोडक्ट्स यू कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम ऑलगे ऑलगे और ऑटोट्रॉफिक हाफ ऑफ द टोटल कॉर्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज फिक्स्ड बाय ऑलगे बाय फोटोसिंथेसिस दे आर मोस्टली एक्वाटिक एंड दे आर दे प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल एज ए प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर इन फूड चेन And many algae are used as a food, like for fire, laminaria, sargassum. They are used as a food. And we get a product halogen and carazin. Halogen from brown algae, carazinin from red algae, which are used as a hydrocolloids for water holding and used to transport seedlings. अगर इज एन कमर्शियल प्रोडक्ट विच इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड एंड विच इज यूज एज ए मीडियम इन टिश्यू कल्चर अगर इज यूज एज ए मीडियम इन टिश्यू कल्चर जेलेरियम एंड ग्रैस लेरिया एक्सट्रैक्ट आर यूज इन टू मेक दिस फॉर्म Chlorellan spirulina are rich in proteins. They are used as a food supplements. As they are rich in these proteins, they are used as a food supplements. 
there are different uses of algae like source of food like for fire sargassum used as a biofertilizer many algae are used as a biofertilizer which fix atmospheric nitrogen severe treatment used in the preparation of chemical dyes and coloring agents agar which is used commercially in industries abhi hum aayenge classification of algae ke bare mein so algae telophyta ke andar kya rehta hai ki algae ye algae mein teen classes hai green algae brown algae red algae ग्रीन ऑलगे का नाम क्लोरोफाइसी ब्राउन ऑलगे का नाम फियोफाइसी और रेड ऑलगे का नाम रोडोफाइसी सो ग्रीन ऑलगे ब्राउन ऑलगे रेड ऑलगे ग्रीन ऑलगे क्लोरोफाइसी ब्राउन ऑलगे फियोफाइसी रेड ऑलगे रोडोफाइसी पहले हम स्टडी करेंगे ग्रीन आलगे पर क्लोरोफाइस सो मोस्ट ऑफ द मेंबर्स ऑफ द क्लोरोफाइस और फ्रेश वाटर एंड वेरी फ्यू दर इज देर इवन इन देर आर मराइन वाटर देर मोस्टली यूनिसल एट द सेम टाइम देर आर कॉलोनियल फॉर्म्स विच लिव इन ग्रुप्स एज वेल एज मल्टी सेलुलर फॉर्म्स और इसमें पिगमेंट्स क्या रहता है क्लोरोफिल ए एंड बी इसके साथ कैरोटीन्स और जैंथोफिल्स रहता जस्ट इक्वल इन टू प्लांट्स प्लास्टिक्स और क्लोरोप्लास्ट का शेप भी डिफरेंट इट विल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम स्पीसीज टू लाइक डिस्क शेप प्लेट लाइक डिक्लेट नेट लाइक कप शेप स्पाइरल रिबन शेप or a food it is stored in the form of starch which is called pyrinote sometimes fat is aggregated around this starch or green algae me a thallus organization me thoda differences rehta in its cellular motile forms like chlamydomonas which is in its cellular which is motile उसको शीट लाइक ऑलवर्म सीनोसाइटिक सीनोसाइटिक मीन्स इसमें बहुत सारे न्यूक्लिए रहते मल्टी न्यूक्लिएट एक सेल में बहुत सारे न्यूक्लियस रहते मल्टी न्यूक्लियट वॉचेरियो कॉलर पॉप हेट्रोट्राइकस इसमें रहता स्टाइप स्टॉक होल्ड फास्ट स्टिगोक्लोनियम क्लैरा निटिल्ला और रिप्रोडक्शन में थ्री टाइप्स रहता है वेस्टेटू एसेक्शुअल सेक्शुअल सो वेस्टेटू बाय फ्रैगमेंटेशन स्पायरोगेरा में द बेस्ट एग्जांपल इज स्पायरोगेरा वे स्पायरोगेरा इज शोइंग अनब्रांच फिलामेंटस स्ट्रक्चर द थैलस इज अनब्रांच फिलामेंटस बाय fragmentation fragments are formed each will develop into an individual asexual reproduction jo spores ke dwara hota hai aur sexual reproduction mein teen types of gametes hai the iso and iso examples chlamydomonas volvox elotrix spirogera cara से पिक्चर में देख सकते हैं पहले एग्जांपल है कि स्पायरो ए इलोथ्रिक्स ए वॉल्वॉक्स 
or any cellular one that is climbed onwards. A chlorophyce, green algae examples, Chlamydomonas, Volvox, Erotherix, Pyrogera, Colorpa, these all are examples of green algae. Next class, I'll give me next class, a few Physiae, which is generally called brown algae. The brown color is due to the brown color pigment that is xanthophyll. Or it's been xanthophyll ke saath fico xanthin And most of the brown algae are marine, that is 99.7 members are marine, very few are fresh water. It's maybe simple branch filamentous forms right there. A highly profused branches ko kya, forms ko kya bolte ki kelps place ka body may hold fast which will attach to the substrate a stalk a type of frond spirit since me pigments ke bare mein hai to Chlorophyll A and C, chlorophyce A, chlorophyll A and B, is me chlorophyll A and C, carotenoids, xanthophylls or phycoxanthins right there. And it is stored in the form of laminarian starch or mantle. Or is ka cell wall me algin right there, which is a gelatinous substance. This algin has commercial use. Or it's maybe three types of reproduction that are vestatum, asexual or sexual. So vestatum by fragmentation, asexual by juice spores, sexual by isogamous, an isogamous and oogamous. So it is examples, ectocorpus, dictyota, laminaria, sargassum and fecus A brown algae examples so few phyce ectocorpus tilopteris cutlerio desmastio laminaria spacellaria sporocnus dictyota sargassum a brown algae examples so that you can see Ectocorpus, a clear diagram of ectocorpus, which has unilocular and plurilocular sporangia. Sargassum, which is this one. This is about the few phyce. Abhitek hame padaya algae me green algae or brown algae ke bari. That is chlorophyce and few phyce. Now we are going red algae ke bare mein rhodophyce wo red algae iska class ka naam kya hai ki rhodophyce generally usko kya bol dete red algae there are 400 genera and 4000 species and mostly they are marine very few or they are fresh water types So, this is algae me liye to fragments, a pigments kya rehta, phycoerythrin or phycozyanin, chlorophyll A and D or beta carotin rehta. A chlorophyll A and B chlorophyce, chlorophyll A and C phyophyce, chlorophyll A and D rhodophyce. A red color is due to a water soluble pigment that is phycoerythrin. So, red color is due to phycoerythrin. And in the red algae, may the food is stored in the form of fluoridine starch. Or it's made advanced sexual reproduction data. Okay, Oogamous type of reproduction rate. This may male be non motile, male will produce non motile gametes, female also will produce that is special spot. This examples can be batrachospermum and polysiphonium. 
These all are examples of rhodophysia. Polysiphonia, Forfira, Lepidium, Gracilaria, Genidium, some red algaic examples. Okay. Red algaic examples. Oh. A teen algaic major characteristics may bury my youth. Say characteristics with differences with the differentiated study career to so chlorophyce a which is generally called green olive which has chlorophyll a and b or few physio me chlorophyll a and c is case of fico xanthin chlorophyll a and d or is case of fico erythrin which causes red color In chlorophyce, food is stored in the form of starch. In pheophyce, it is stored in the form of mannitol or laminarian starch. Red algae means fluoridian starch. Chlorophyce cell wall may majorly cellulose. Pheophyce may cellulose ke saath algin bhi rehta. Red algae may rehta cellulose. Pectin and polysulfate esters. The chlorophyce may two to eight flagella retta. Equal epithel. This may two unequal lateral or this may absent red algae. The habitat fresh water. This may brown algae may retta ninety nine point seven or marine water. Very few are this. Very few, here also in red algae very few are fresh water and mostly or marine water so most of the brown algae and red algae are marine forms only few are fresh water chlorophyce marine forms or fresh water forms a major Characteristic features of the three types of algae that is chlorophyce, pheophyce, rhodophyce. After thallophyta, the next division in non flowering plants is bryophyta. A bryophyta be non vascular plants, this may be xylem, phloem, nireta. No xylem and phloem. Is me xylem or phloem nireta? Okay. So here, even though they don't have xylem and phloem, they have simpler tissues that are specialized for internal transport of water. And most of the bryophytes, a moist shaded place may by the hotel. और बायोफाइट्स को क्या बोलते हैं कि कॉमनली एम्फी बीएंस ऑफ प्लांट किंगडम एम्फी मींस बोथ ए सोइल में रहता और वाटर में रहता वाटर इज कंपलसरी फॉर सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड इन बायोफाइट्स में कुछ प्लांट फॉर्म्स में ट्रू रूट स्टेम लीफ नहीं रहता There's a roots similar form to the rhizoids, which will perform the function of roots. They usually grow in damp, humid, and shade localities. And they play an important role in plant succession, which is an ecological aspect on bare rocks. Our bryophytes be Thallus forms reta or prostate or rect forms reta. In some bryophytes, they lack true root stem and leaf. Okay. Or bryophytes may to the major plant body, which is the main plant body is haploid, which produces gametes, gametophyte. Okay. 
अब पिक्चर में देख कर गैमेटोफाइट है गैमेटोफाइट में मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन को क्या बोलते हैं कि एंथ्रेडियम और इसके अंदर मेल गैमेट्स उसको क्या बोलते हैं कि बाई फ्लैजलेट एंथ्रोजॉइट्स फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन को क्या बोलते हैं कि और की गोनी है पिक्चर में क्या देख रहे हैं कि और की गोनी है विच इज फ्लास्क शेप एवेंटर में एक ही एक सिल रहता सो दिस इज कॉल्ड वेंटर दिस इज कॉल्ड नेक नेक में नेक कैनॉल सेल्स एवेंटर में एक एक सेल और वेंटर कैनॉल सेल्स रहते ए एंथ्रोजॉइड्स विल फ्यूज विद एक सेल विल कम इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड रीच टू द एक सेल एंड दे विल फ्यूज विद एक सेल ओके फ्यूज होने के बाद एक डिप्लॉयड स्ट्रक्चर आता है डिप्लॉयड स्ट्रक्चर को क्या बोलते हैं कि स्पोरोफाइट इसका नाम स्पोरोफाइट इस स्पोरोफाइट इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन गैमेटोफाइट इस स्पोरोफाइट में मियोसिस होता है मियोसिस में haploid spores are produced so they will germinate and form again the haploid gametophyte they germinate and form haploid gametophyte so abhi tak hame padha hai general characteristics of the bryophyta which will show thylakoid as well as erect plant bodies they show gametophyte initially later on sporophyte that is haplo diplontic life cycle where sporophyte is dependent on gametophyte so this is about the general characteristics of the bryophyta which are called amphibians of plant kingdom they live on soil as well as water That's all about today's class. We'll meet in the next session. Thank you all. Follow us on social media.